In the 1960s, the space race dominated headlines as Russia and the United States vied for supremacy in lunar exploration. Today, the focus has shifted to the artificial intelligence race, yet Russia consistently seeks to establish itself as a global rival in technological innovation. With the recent release of Russia's GigaChat as a formidable contender against the renowned American ChatGPT, the technological advancement of the country took the whole world by surprise. The country gained the attention of the world as Bank, its largest bank, unveiled GigaChat, an AI neural network designed to challenge ChatGPT. The startling announcement caught the AI industry off guard, as no one anticipated this development. While recent events have had Russia in the news due to its invasion of Ukraine and subsequent sanctions from international entities, the country has simultaneously been focusing on self-sufficiency. For the past few years, private Russian companies have been heavily investing in various sectors, leading to groundbreaking advancements. On April 24, 2023, the world bore witness to one such development, as Esperbank introduced GigaChat to the global stage. GigaChat not only matches ChatGPT's capabilities, but also offers additional features while demonstrating exceptional proficiency in the Russian language. Esperbank claims that GigaChat's ability to intelligently converse in Russian sets it apart from other global neural networks, catering to the needs of a huge portion of the Russian population who prefer to communicate in their native tongue. Esperbank's website features an article titled GigaChat vs. Versus ChatGPT, Esper opens access to its latest neural network model, which delves into the AI's specifications and capabilities. Unfortunately, access to this content is limited to Russia unless one is willing to install Russian Ministry of Digital Development certificates on their browser. Nonetheless, some additional sources reveal that GigaChat can converse, write messages, answer questions, and even write code and create images from descriptions, an ability that ChatGPT currently lacks. Esper Bank CEO Herman Greff, who pre previously served as a Minister of Economic Development during Russian President Vladimir Putin's first two terms, has always been passionate about the country's economic growth. Greff praised GigaChat as a breakthrough for the entire community of Russian technology and claimed the technology came at a time they needed it most. As Western nations imposed severe sanctions on Russia due to its activities in Ukraine, the country faced significant economic challenges. For example, Esperbank experienced a nearly 80% drop in net profits in 2022 after being excluded from the SWIFT financial transfer system and withdrawing from the European market. Additionally, since ChatGPT's launch, it has been geofenced in Russia, restricting access within the country. In response, Esperbank invested heavily in emerging technologies like GigaChat, aiming to reduce Russia's dependence on imports and foreign tech. The bank hopes GigaChat will fuel innovation and transform how Russians work and conduct business, making their entry into the AI race both timely and essential. The CEO emphasized that the AI could be utilized not just by technology enthusiasts but also by students and researchers for scientific work. Interestingly, the name GigaChat resembles GigaChad, an internet meme often associated with alpha male characteristics, a concept frequently praised by Moscow and Putin. It is unclear whether this similarity is intentional or coincidental. Could Russia be sending a message of the cultural opposition to the West by promoting values of virility and masculinity through its AI? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The timeline for when the new AI will will become available to the general public remains uncertain. According to Business Today and other reputable sources, GigaChat is currently limited to a select group of testers who can join the evaluation process via an exclusive Telegram channel. A caption from the Telegram group found on Twitter states the following. Welcome to the closed Telegram channel GigaChat. This is the first multimodal neural network model which, unlike ChatGPT, has an excellent knowledge of Russian and can create images, and also, to keep up the conversation, answer factual questions follow instructions, brainstorm, and much more. Channel subscribers will be the first to receive a link to it and will be among the first users of Russian generative AI. The neural network will be especially useful for journalists, editors, programmers, teachers, students, marketers, and representatives of other professions whose work is related to text, code, and creativity. Salut GigaChat! The emergence of ChatGPT might have stirred up the AI race, but Russia never fails to assert itself as a powerful contender in the realm of technological advancements. With its AI's unique features and proficiency
currency in Russian, GigaChat is poised to make a significant impact not only within Russia, but also on the global AI landscape. Remarkably, just a few days after unveiling GigaChat, the Russians released the GigaChat Google extension, whereas it took OpenAI nearly five months to launch the ChatGPT Chrome extension. This is just a glimpse of the country's determination to outshine competitors. The extraordinary success of ChatGPT has ignited a wild rush to develop alternative AI tools, involving not only major tech giants but also countless startups, all vying for a stake in this rapidly growing industry. While the future of the AI race remains uncertain, one thing is clear. Innovation knows no bounds, and countries will continue to push the limits of what is possible. China, for example, is not lagging behind in the race. It would be naive to assume that China will depend on the United States for generative AI. Several Chinese tech giants and startups are already in the race. Baidu, a Chinese internet firm, has been utilizing its AI, Ernie, in its search engine services since March. Although little is known about its capabilities, other prominent companies like Tencent, Alibaba, JD.com, and Tencent subsidiary WeChat have also announced their ongoing development of ChatGPT-like products. Although we have limited information about these tools and no official release dates have been disclosed, there are reports that these Chinese AI tools will be proficient in the country's native dialects. Meanwhile, Tesla and Twitter CEO Elon Musk revealed his plans to create an alternative to ChatGPT, what he named Truth GPT. It's going to be a maximum truth seeking AI. Musk unveiled his intentions in a recent interview with Tucker Carlson on Fox News. Truth GPT aims to uncover the mysteries of the universe and promote unbiased, truthful results. However, the launch date remains uncertain. Musk only mentioned that TruthGPT is a work in progress and provided no further information regarding its features or capabilities. With the influx of groundbreaking AIs such as BARD, AutoGPT, GPT-4, and Baidu's Ernie, can Elon Musk surpass the existing competition? Apparently, he did not foresee Russia's sudden release of GigaChat, which is currently making waves across the AI landscape. The AI race keeps escalating, and it will be fascinating to see how innovations like GigaChat, China China's AI projects and Elon Musk's Truth GPT will shape the future of artificial intelligence and redefine our understanding of what is possible. Ironically, some US tech giants have not yet entered the AI race. For example, Amazon has partnered with AI startup Hugging Face to develop a chat GPT rival. Apple, another major player, has been absent from the race but appears to be making moves towards a launch. Meta, the parent company of WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram, has the capability to compete with chat GPT as a long-standing leader in the AI sector. However, it has refrained from doing so, concerned that its AI tool could exacerbate the inaccurate, biased, or misleading content already present on its platforms. As influential generative models like ChatGPT4 continue to evolve, the associated risks and challenges become more disconcerting. Artists worry about their careers being jeopardized by image-generating AIs, and questions arise about potential impacts on the film industry. In the near future, it's possible that an entire movie could be created with a single prompt. Text-to-video software already exists, so the idea of personalized movies tailored to each individual is not far-fetched. The potential applications for AI are truly astonishing. According to Bill Gates, AI may soon begin tutoring students in schools within a few months. Interestingly, figures like Elon Musk continually warn about AI's potential dangers while simultaneously investing in its development. AI regulation becomes a crucial topic in this context. However, achieving it may not be as straightforward as we imagine. The struggle for regulation has long placed governments at longer heads against major tech companies. However, the debate on the regulation of the industry has been ongoing. Recently, over 5,000 individuals signed an open letter calling for a pause in AI development, urging governments to intervene if researchers fail to refrain this out-of-control race. The open letter managed by Future of Life Institute warns that AI systems with human competitive intelligence could pose a significant threat to humanity, including the possibility of AI outsmarting humans, rendering us obsolete and taking control of civilization. Italy became the first Western country to temporarily ban ChatGPT, citing violations of privacy laws. The country has asked OpenAI to modify its chatbot to comply with its regulations. France and Spain have also launched investigations into ChatGPT, 
with their respective regulatory bodies examining privacy concerns. Germany has joined these European governments in scrutinizing ChatGPT's use of personal data, seeking answers from its developer, OpenAI. European data protection authorities have collectively prepared a questionnaire for OpenAI, expecting a response by June 11th. Merit Hansen, the commissioner for the northern state of Schleswig-Holstein, emphasized the focus on compliance with the European General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. An interesting question arises with several European countries banning ChatGPT, could Russia's GigaChat gain widespread acceptance and accessibility throughout Europe, despite ongoing conflicts and sanctions? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. It is worth noting that GigaChat's impact on the global scale might be limited, as it primarily excels in the Russian language and not so much in foreign languages. In any case, we will have to wait and see how things unfold. AI undoubtedly represents the future and we must be prepared for the challenges and opportunities it presents. As we continue to explore AI's potential, striking a balance between innovation and regulation will be crucial to ensure its responsible and beneficial development. Enjoyed this video? Now watch this.